Well, it's a nice sunny afternoon here, and I just thought I'd show you what was going on over here. I can hear them now. I don't expect that'll come across on the video. You see the activity in the pond? Yes. There's a lot of frogs born there. Some of the guys there. They've been very active this year. I think I have seen more frogs born, but you can see it moving there where they are. There's under. Yeah. But uh, none of them have stayed up this time. So, I'm just going to go up the garden and I'll show you what's happening up there. Well, it's been a very mild winter and if I go down here, you'll be able to see that the grass is beginning to grow. If it was dry enough, I would mow it, but it ain't. The ground's still very wet and muddy, so I'll have to wait. But uh, it ain't usually as soon as this that the grass starts growing. Well, up there is my watering system. I think uh, a bit later on, I'll maybe go up there with a the camera and show you it. But I put that in, oh it must be 10, 12 years ago now, and uh, it has worked ever since. I go up every year and look at it. I haven't been up yet this year, but this is the only time of year I can get up, because after about another month the nettles, brambles, everything start growing and I can't get up. Anyway, I've renewed my style there so that I can get over. This is the polytunnel which I've just started. I've done this side. I haven't quite done that side yet. This is a new watering system that I have. I'm not sure how it'll work. It's not a porous pipe. It has little um, outlets on it at intervals. So whether that'll work as well or not, I don't know, but I'm going to try it this year. The porous pipe tends to block up, tends to become non-porous after a while. So that's my raised bed. It's ready for planting now. I don't know what I'm going to put in it. But we'll see. I've got seeds and everything. Uh, and this area here is going to be used for potatoes. I haven't dug this for about five years. It's been under polythene. That's the bit I usually use over there. And uh, this was very impacted, and it's, it's very clay soil. Um, it's good for growing potatoes because it holds moisture, but it's quite hard to dig. And there you are. In a garden like this, things become overgrown very quickly, and I've had to take down a number of trees and bushes. This is the result. I've got some logs there, as you see. This is more of the stuff here. So I'm going to have to have a fire very shortly. Uh, maybe when my granddaughter comes down, I don't know. But I'm... Um, getting quite an accumulation of stuff. I've got to get rid of it somehow. That's my solar light, which works very well. I think I showed it before, but anyway, there it is up there. And um, I, I painted this roof last year to save doing it with felt. And it hasn't leaked, but it has got, I don't know if you can see on this, it's like blisters on the roof, little blisters. Uh, I painted it again about a week ago, and I'm hoping that it will have, uh, well, I don't think it'll leak, but I just don't know why it's got those blisters there. 